What up nerds? In this video I want to cover what is metadata inside of the Godot game engine. If you find that this video does help you and you want to support the channel, you can like and subscribe to this channel as well as check out my Steam developer page. Uh, I will link this in the description below. So metadata is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it is a property that is on every single object in Godot and it is pretty much just a key value pair of whatever it is that you want as long as it is a variant type which is pretty much everything in Godot pretty much now uh, you can think of it kind of like a dictionary that it just exists on every object if we click on a node in our scene tree we can see this add metadata over here in the inspector and then it'll prompt us for a name we'll just call this test and then it'll prompt us for the type in this case we can just set a string name and then click add and we have it on this node we can give it whatever value we want that is valid and then we can retrieve this data at some later time. If we want to remove it, all we do is click on the X. Now, uh, we can also access this through script. And to kind of demonstrate this, what I have here is just a simple scene. Uh, and I have some components in here. Now, one cool thing that you can do is you can actually register node paths and node references to the root nodes uh, metadata and then you can use that to quickly gain access to any other node that you want right so as an example let's take it the take a look at this component class all I do is check to see if I have a valid owner which I will if I set the if I set the node in the editor because the editor sets this property for us and the owner will always be the root node of the scene okay like so if you instance this node well if you instance this scene somewhere else the owner is still going to be the root node of that scene I do have a video covering owner if you're interested and I can link that in the description below as well so uh, the reason I want to check if I have a valid one is just in case I create the node dynamically during the runtime of the game. So if I do have a valid owner, all I do is set the meta. And I call this function get component name, which because this is going to be a base class of component, I do this little assert here to make sure that if I'm ever using a child class that they do actually override this method. And this return right here can be largely ignored. I only have this here because I'm saying that it's going to return something. Now I've also created a little function here this isn't needed it's just to kind of centralize registering a dynamically created component at runtime that's all and I've created this static function so I can just do component dot find component and pass it the owning node name at, well the owning node and the component name so I can pretty much centralize how we can try to find a component inside of a node all right and that's the general gist of how things are set up now to kind of show this in action if we look at this some other thing script all I'm doing is getting uh, well, all I'm trying to do is finding the component and then I'm going to print it out uh, and I do want to point out that this is a pretty naive approach and uh, 
for an actual production game, you would want to have better checks in here and all that good stuff. This is only here for demonstration purposes. So if you if we look here, there are no scripts on my root node. But when I uh, run the scene, I do actually print this value from the health component. Because if we look at the health component, the value is 100. And that is because the like I, the way I organized the scene tree, I took advantage of Godot's uh, deterministic initialization order. Now, this is just one example of how you can use metadata to kind of architect your games in different ways and possibly even avoid you putting scripts on nodes that you may not need scripts for. Uh, theoretically speaking, what you could do is have no script on the root node and following this kind of uh, component setup, just have components just constantly register themselves to the root node and have them all communicate through that or, uh, and, and well, then you can have some components controlling the root node it's it's really up to you and again this is a naive approach it's just for demonstration purposes and one way that you could actually use metadata that could be beneficial to your game if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below later nerds